Everyone can see my sequence settings. I'm using a 4K ultra high definition setting. I've opted for QuickTime for the preview file format codec. I've chose animation. That set up just the way I want it. I'm going to select OK. As we can tell, I have a Haswell CPU. If we go to the GPU, I'm using my GTX 1060. I've only got 16 gigabytes of RAM. I should let people know that I am using the Mercury playback engine in GPU acceleration mode. The CUDA technology is going to play back the real-time special effects like color correction, motion blur, a picture-in-picture. -picture. The NVENC of the NVIDIA graphics card is only going to help to encode and decode H.264 video codec. Click on here. Let me go to Properties. We can tell it is H.264 video codec. We can also tell it's playing off the F drive. This is my F drive. It's an old mechanical hard drive. It's probably at least 12 years old. It probably doesn't read and write at any above 100 megabytes per second. It'll be more than fast enough for H.264, especially the H.264 video codec that's coming out of my Sony a7 III camera. Now, if you have the Sony a7S III or some of the newer Panasonic cameras, some of the newer Canon cameras, you might not be able to get by with a mechanical hard drive. I'm going to hit play. We can tell it plays right away. I have NVIDIA's NVENC enabled. If the NVENC was not enabled, the CP would probably be at 50, 60%. It could still play this back, but the fan would be winding out at 3000 RPMs as well. But as you can tell right now, the CPU and GPU aren't being used all that much. If I skip ahead, here we can see I have a Lumetri color effect applied. I think seven or eight parameters have been altered. So it looks kind of weird. It's not a color correction video. If I go over to the ProRes files though, you're probably going to hear the fan wind out as soon as I hit play. As you folks can tell, playing back the ProRes files caused my CPU to be used a lot more. My fans are winding out a lot more. That will be the same case if you try to play B-RAW files or Red One R3D files. Right now I'm playing back a B-RAW video clip. And here we have the Red One R3D files. As you can tell, the CPU is getting pegged 100%. I don't think it's dropping frames, but you would want to edit 4K at full resolution. But I want to let people know, if I go to quarter resolution, I've already got the pause at quarter, but that, that's cool. Now if I play this back, it's not going to use as much of the CPU. In the beginning, it's going to get pegged really quick because it's trying to cash out, you know, 14, 15 frames in advanced. I now have NVENC disabled, and you can see the CPU is being used a lot more than it was. But it's not just that the CPU is being used. Look at the fan speed. It's as though I'm editing Red One... R3D files, ProRes, or B-RAW, it's well above 3,000 RPMs. Well, right around 3,000, a little bit above. But this is the power of NVENC and QuickSync. Your CPU doesn't work as hard. Your fan's not winding out. Let me get this out of the way so you can actually see the video playing. You can edit 4K H.264 video files at full resolution using a mediocre quad-core CPU, provided you can make use of NVENC or QuickSync. If you were to try and edit 4K B-RAW or 4K Red One R3D files at full resolution, it would be in your best interest to get an eight-core CPU. I could not demonstrate Intel's QuickSync in this video, and that's because Premiere Pro requires a 6th generation CPU or higher in order to make use of Intel's QuickSync. My Haswell CPU is way too old.